Residents of Fort McMurray were forced to evacuate in a hurry as the raging wildfire approached the city. Many were forced to leave behind some of their most cherished possessions, but funeral directors Andrew Montgomery and Marlene Sampson knew they had to find a way to transport what could be considered their most precious cargo. That's Mr. Goloski. Richard Goloski, a lifelong resident of Fort McMurray, passed away shortly before the fire, and his family was evacuated before services could be held. So a plan was hatched to transport Mr. Goloski's body to Edmonton, along with the cremated remains of several others. We'd have been entrusted to, to a family member that really can't speak for themselves, and that's our job, and that's what we do. Normally, a deceased body is transported in a hearse like this. That didn't seem to be the right choice for this particular journey. Seeking a more discreet vehicle for the long trip to Edmonton, Mr. Goloski was transported in this van. Specifically designed inside uh, to carry a stretcher. So with Andrew Montgomery at the wheel and Richard Goloski on a stretcher in back, they made the long journey to Edmonton just hours before the fire tore through Fort McMurray. Leaving Goloski behind was never an option. Not one moment, not one second. That was my priority. <laughs> I have compassion to spare. Once in Edmonton, the deceased was reunited with his family. It could be weeks before residents are allowed to return to Fort McMurray, so the evacuated family gathered to remember Richard Goloski at a funeral home in Edmonton. He was a trapper, a hunter and a trapper. He was very proud of that, and he taught myself and my brother how to, how to live off the land. Goloski will be cremated, and his remains returned to the place he called home. I'm sure he's up there smiling, laughing down at us, and a big grin on his face for sure. He's getting a lot of attention. Jim Spellman, CCTV, Edmonton, Canada.